Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Google Chrome if it's running slow or lagging on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. We'll go through several steps that can help speed up Chrome and improve its performance. First, let's start by closing any unnecessary tabs. If you have multiple tabs open, this can use up a lot of your system's resources, causing Chrome to slow down. Close any tabs that you aren't actively using. This is one of the simplest ways to reduce the load on Chrome and improve its speed. Next, make sure that Google Chrome is up to date. To do this, click on the three dots in the top right corner of the Chrome window. From the drop-down menu, hover over Help, then click on About Google Chrome. Chrome will automatically check for updates and install any that are available. Keeping Chrome updated ensures you have the latest performance improvements and security fixes. Now, let's check if any extensions are causing the slowdown. Extensions can be very useful, but sometimes they can also be the source of performance issues. Click on the three dots in the top right corner again, then go to Extensions under More Tools. Click on Manage Extensions. Here, you'll see a list of all the extensions installed in Chrome. Go through this list and remove any extensions that you don't need or recognize. You can also try disabling all extensions temporarily to see if that solves the problem. If disabling the extensions improves Chrome's performance, re-enable them one by one to identify the culprit. Another thing you can do is disable hardware acceleration. Sometimes, hardware acceleration can cause Chrome to lag or freeze. To turn it off, click on the three dots in the top right corner, then go to Settings. Scroll down and click on System in the left-hand menu. If you don't see System, look under Advanced. Find the option that says Use Hardware Acceleration when available and turn it off by sliding the toggle to the left. Once it's disabled, restart Chrome and see if the performance has improved. Clearing your browsing data can also help speed up Chrome. To do this, go back to Settings, then click on Privacy and Security in the left-hand menu. Click on Clear Browsing Data. Set the time range to All Time and select everything except passwords and autofill form data. Then click Clear Data. This will remove temporary files and other data that could be slowing down Chrome. If the issue persists, try resetting Chrome's settings to their default. Go back to Settings, then click on Reset Settings in the left-hand menu. Choose Restore settings to their original defaults and click Reset Settings. This will undo any changes that might be causing the problem without affecting your bookmarks or saved passwords. You should also enable Chrome's Memory Saver feature. Go back to the Settings menu and look for the Performance option. Make sure the Memory Saver option is turned on. This feature helps by reducing memory usage for inactive tabs, freeing up resources for the tabs you're actively using. If you've made changes to Chrome flags in the past, resetting them might help. Open a new tab and type Chrome Flags into the address bar, then press Enter. At the top of the page, you'll see an option to Reset All. Click on this button, then relaunch Chrome when prompted. Resetting the flags will undo any experimental settings that might be causing the slowdown. Finally, if none of these steps work, you might need to reinstall Google Chrome. To do this, close Chrome and go to your computer settings. From the left-hand menu, click on Apps, then find Google Chrome in the list of installed apps. Click on the three dots next to Chrome and select Uninstall. After uninstalling, restart your computer, then use another browser to download and reinstall the latest version of Google Chrome from the official website. These steps should help fix any slow or lagging issues with Google Chrome on your Windows PC. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free, 
and will always be free. So click the link in the description to sign up.